What's up guys, Steve Conroy with Lug Away Junk Removal and Demolition. Bringing you another day in the life, episode 14. Keeping it real, keeping it safe. We are here in Dover, Mass. Taking out this fence. We're gonna pop off the border of all these, except for the three inside there. Got a lot of give to most of them, but some of them are in there. Um, kind of a shit day here. Rainy. Everything's soaked. Something happened here. She wants us to peel the glass out of this. Sweep this up. We'll sweep underneath here too. Make it look nice for her. Um, there is a couch inside that we're going to grab. I wanted to grab before we started this. We're going to get muddy. Um, our path to the truck over here is basically down here. So we'll probably have to do a little cleanup once we get that couch out. Um, I'll time lapse this. We have two other jobs of construction debris today um, and hopefully we'll finish up early. So follow along. So there's two ways to do this. You can shove this in here, have two guys pull it up, but you gotta loosen it first. And usually you can just do that by hand. Ah, one and done, kid. One and <laughs> done. So all these pieces are off. They were all bolted together, rusted out, so it wasn't too bad, but this is the hardest one to do. So we're gonna load this stuff up in the truck. We'll have to chop up some of these, some of these uh, pieces of wood. I'm winded here. Chop up some of these pieces of wood to fit in the truck. Um, I'll film loading that up as well so we can see how much this stuff fills up. She's gonna be heavy. All that stuff covered in dirt. All right, we're gonna go get the couch now. So we're gonna have to unfortunately take our boots off, bring it out the front, uh, the French doors on the right side of the guest house. And that's that. So let's roll up here. I believe this is unlocked. She's got the keys in here. All right, so. Just undo the old Zapatos. I'll roll these motherfuckers up. You have to take yours off too, Kev. I thought Marlo was staying out here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Need a boot sponsor. We don't have one. Timberland. Red one. So Kevin's gonna stay out here. <laughs> Connor and I are gonna come in here, take this bad boy, which is pretty nice, but it's pouring rain and we're covered in mud. And we're gonna need to take it through these French doors here 
and right down the stairs. I'm gonna have to be uh, a little careful there, but that's all right. Let's get the job done. Right, guys we are at the two hour mark got the couch in there fence putting some of the pots that broke in the greenhouse in there we're sweeping that out climb up this hill for the hundredth time now this is what was in the ground where all that white fence white fence was this was inside to keep the uh, chipmunks out I guess it wasn't doing a great job but it's an absolute pain in the ass to pull up. So what we're gonna do at the very end, I'm gonna go around and basically just kind of kick this stuff in, fill in these little slots. So all these pavers here, we're gonna bring them down there, stack them up so she can use them for something else, whatever other project she wants to do. Um, shouldn't be here till 11, but we'll, uh, we'll see how long it takes to finish this up. It'll be a heavy truck, so um, we'll hit the dump. I'll let you know how much this bad boy weighs after it is dumped. All right, who's the muddiest? <laughs> I think I'm <I'll> muddy. <laughs> Kids crawling in dirt. All right, let's tarp this sucker and get the hell out of here. So you can see the squad over there. So they're having us dump in this bay. This stuff's closed over here where we normally dump. Um, so. Were you actually pissed? Huh? Were you actually pissed? No, no, it's fucking real. Oh, all right. Yeah, so they're redoing the concrete floor over there. So we pull in here, dump on the ground, they push it down below um, where there's a trailer. Yeah, you can see in there, they're doing a bunch of different stuff. We'll see how much this bad boy weighs once it's dumped. All right, boys, off to the next job. Construction debris in the backyard. We did a basement cleanup for them the other day. That load right there weighed in at a whopping 2,980 pounds onto the next one. No, there's no way they took it down. Though. Maybe. Someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling up here, Sherborne Lavender Farm on our left here. Someone stole our yard sign that we put out yesterday. Bash some heads. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So we cleared. <laughs> so we cleared out their basement yesterday. Um, we're supposed to do a little bit more in there today, but we are covered in mud, and her basement's pretty clean, so it's not going to be an ideal situation. I think it's probably easier to do it this way. Come around back. Backyard is littered with dog shit. So, yeah, beware of that. So we'll start pulling the debris from out back. I'll talk to her, figure out what we're doing in the basement. Good here. I'm just gonna run around back and oh, document the debris. Um, let's toss masks on. So we cleared two trucks, sorry, we cleared two trucks out of here yesterday, uh, coming from this door here, which is access to the basement. Oh, bungeed in here. Bungeed in here also. There we go. I wonder if their dog is out. 
Yeah, so we took two truckloads from there yesterday. The only stuff left down there is like pots and pans, but they're all in uh, in their boxes. So it's going to be time consuming to um, get them out, separate them. Like there's a lot of them. And uh, we're just covered in mud and her basement's nice. So I don't really want to damage anything down there. Not really damage, but dirty up the floor. So this is the stuff we're taking today. I'm gonna grab that, bring it around this way. Um, and we'll get out of here. So I'm gonna talk to her. There was some, I think she had some hardened up paint down there. I didn't give it all a shake, but um, so Kevin and Connor will start doing that. Dog shit everywhere. Dog shit everywhere. See how long this takes us after this we got another construction debris job with a couple appliances dump that and we'll finish up the day all right all right all right finished up here kevin's got a ninja this is got good. all this, this the stuff the in one. there i don't know i open this door the one. Just leave it there. well there's shit in one of them isn't there yeah there's a bunch of grass yeah so we get that we're gonna go all the way over there to a garage Get some more shit and then hit the dump, kick off the metal, and go get uh, the construction debris at the other job. Here at the Needham dump, I could not get much footage of the end of that other job because the customer came out, he was talking. We ended up going to a garage at the front of their house where they sell the lavender from their farm. We were cleaning stuff out of there, he's talking to me. I wasn't about to whip the GoPro out, but he did. Pay half cash. This is from today and the cleanup we did yesterday. A couple grand. Um, so we're gonna kick the metal off here. Um, we're actually gonna dump the truck because uh, the guy we're going to next just texted me and added a bunch of stuff. Not just, but throughout the day, texted me and added a bunch of stuff. Uh, so we'll dump this. Head over there in Natick down the street from our shop. Grab that stuff. Um, when we come back here to the transfer station, we're not allowed to dump after one for the next month because um, they're doing all recycling and not junk or trash. So we have to offload by hand into a dumpster, which sucks, but it is what it is. All right, guys. We are over here in Natick, finishing up job three. Construction debris. Got a little bridge there. Come around back. So we got a mattress box spring inside. And we got a dryer, double stacked dryer. It's got like a steamer on top, but this is what we're taking here. Finish this up and hopefully get to transfer station so that we can dump this and not offload it by hand, but gotta do what you gotta do. We'll see how much everything weighs at the end and talk numbers when we get back to the shop. All right. All that stuff in the back is gone. The dryer's here. Got all the debris in here. Kevin's grabbing a, I think a construction debris. So I guess this is like a dryer steamer that they don't make anymore, which is why he's getting rid of it. The heat element went on it. So we'll dump this in. We'll put the mattress box spring in. Put this stuff in. And we'll be good to go. Another job, another day in Paris. Here we go. Three quarters of a load. Half junk, mattress box spring, half appliances. Drop the invoice, get paid. I'd say Butterfingers, but we've been getting been fucking like rained on all day, so. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. Send it? Send it. Send her. Send her home. Oh, shit, dismount.
There you go. Excellent dismount. Yank the rest of this crap out. This is fresh. You just lay your clothes on. Yeah, so they're gonna let us they're gonna let us dump dump this. Said so it's the only time. So they're being nice to us. We got here at 220. And they usually now are telling us that one o'clock is the cutoff, but and we'd have to unload in one of those containers. But he's gonna allow us to dump today, which is nice, right on the floor there. Nice, nice dump on the floor. When does, uh, when do you ever hear that and get excited? Yeah, you can just go dump on the floor there. Sounds good. All right, guys, the day. Oh, no. Oh, I guess it's a good problem to have, but now I got muddy money. It's not the kind of money I want. I like green, clean money. Oh, pause. All right, now that that is situated and the money is straight, um, we can talk numbers. So we did like 400 in dump fees today, including mattresses, box springs, um, air conditioners. I think we had a TV in there. We might not have. Um, and we did a couple grand in sales. Fuel low. Hate that sound. Knew the fuel was going to be low. Should probably just cut the engine. There you go. Um, yeah, so today was a good day. Covered in dirt and mud and whatever, but it is what it is. Um, these are the kind of... These are the days that really... Um, they really work you. You're just working all day. It's soaked, then it gets hot out, it stops raining, then it starts pouring on you again. Um, so Kevin and Connor did an awesome job today. Um, I was glad that we didn't have to offload by hand when we got to the transfer station. Um, it's just classic day in the life of a junk remover. I wasn't going to film today because it's a pain in the ass in the rain, but I wanted to so you can see you know, how we do this. So the last video I did on like making, you know, 30, 50 grand a month, it's up to you. I mean, you need the business there, but it's up to you. I mean, there was a guy that we saw at the dump uh, today who does junk removal and he dumped once and he's like, ah, I just, I pushed all my jobs to next week because I don't want to work in the rain. I'm going to make a bunch of money in the rain and I'm going to work tomorrow and Thursday and Friday and wait, wait, today's Wednesday? Here's a Tuesday. Yeah, all right. Well, it's Wednesday. Which, what are my phones here? Wednesday. So I'm going to work Thursday. I'm going to work Friday. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to work all next week. And if it rains next week, we're just going to work. There's no point to uh, to not work junk removal or doing any demolition. I guess demolition sometimes. But there's no point to not work junk removal because of weather. Um, snow, yeah. I mean, if there's a huge snowstorm, you, you can't work. Whatever. But you're going to stop working in the rain. I mean, come on. It's, it's, you know, what are you doing here? Um, so that's another day in the life, episode 14, I believe. Could be 13, could be 15. I don't know, I'm getting lost with this stuff. Um, happy to be back filming. I got another video coming out on um, invoicing, how to talk to customers while you're, or how to talk to customers when you're pricing jobs. A lot of questions about that stuff. Um, I could have sworn I was clear with it in some of the other videos, but I'm going to make one specifically on that. Um, I'm going to make an updated video on pricing the truck, pricing your trailer, whatever. Um, so stay tuned to that. Thank you to all the subscribers out there. Um, if you're new to the channel, check everything out. I make all this stuff as educational purposes for you guys. Um, the day in the life, as always, you guys seem to like these. Um, I think the views have gone down a little on them, but I enjoy filming them. It's easy for me to film them. You guys seem to like it. You can really see what we do during the day. Um, a lot of footage in this one got, got not cut, but the GoPro keeps dying. I got to get another one um, so I can mount it to the front here and do the, um, you know, the views out the window because I'm charging the thing while we're driving instead of shooting views out the window. I think it, the camera's just getting older. It's getting used and abused, um, but all good stuff. So 
Uh, that's me signing off, 308. I'm going to go get some food, go home. No quotes to do today. I got three calls I got to make, but I can do the quotes over the phone, which is great. So, uh, yeah, and it's also Cinco de Mayo. Who's getting trashed tonight? Not this guy. Working. 4 a.m. wake up tomorrow. Peace.